week was very good. So, um, you know, it was similar rhythm to we all, that we always fo follow, but we went through some some things today, uh, you know, similar always, but shape work and, and set pieces. Um, you need to be good on set pieces against Dallas. It's an important part of the game. And, you know, what they do uh, is pretty simple, but it's effective. You know, so we, we, we talked about those things in the video and went through them today on the pitch. So guys, guys looked ready, and uh, we're looking forward to the game tomorrow. Uh, we saw Jack out there. Is he uh, back cleared? Yeah, yeah. He's uh, he hasn't been cleared for the game, but he was cleared to train full out today. So um, uh, I know the uh, final stage is to see how he feels tomorrow when he wakes up. So assuming that's um, assuming he's fine, then he'll he'll be available. We've got one. They've had fast starts the last few years. What are they doing? Doing well? Is it their speed at top? What do you see that really get them? Yeah, like I said, I mean, I think they, um, you know, they have three or four things that they do, and they do those three or four things really well. You know, I think I don't think there's a ton of difference in them versus the other teams. Uh, you know, talent-wise, their front four is dynamic, um, but they're very good on set pieces, and uh, they've got, you know, a lot of uh, pace on the counter. You know, through Castillo and Akindeli. Um, you know, when they get deep on you uh, and they throw a ball in the box they got a guy like Perez that can get on the end of it so um, you know it's pretty clear what they what they do and what they do they do really well so we need to make sure you know in the three or four things they do really well we need to make sure that we manage those things but we we've, we've managed it in the past and you know a good example was you know last game of the year you know, on the road when they hadn't been beaten in I think it was eight games at home you know so that was kind of the video session today, was to show what they do, which is really clear, and then also to show, uh, you know, some clips of us managing those things already in games, because they're pretty much the same team they were last year. Is that good because, I mean, obviously probably a little more confidence heading into this? You know, like I always say, I mean, games aren't decided on, uh, you know, on paper. They're not decided on the past. They're not decided on, uh, you know, who is the better team going into the game. It's decided on who's the better team when the whistle blows. So, you know, I think it doesn't hurt to be able to show some video, um, you know, having success, but at the same time, uh, we're gonna only win the game if we do those things when the whistle blows inside the lines. Um, so, I think that's the key. The best team doesn't win, it's a team that plays best. I was, we didn't see Yarte just in our few minutes. Was he here yet? Or? No, he, he didn't get his visa till yesterday, and he, there was a flight at two, and he didn't didn't make that flight, so he'll be here at four o'clock today. So, won't won't be available for the game. Uh, Diaz has been a pretty influential player for Dallas, um, but he's been not in training recently. Yeah. Do you guys know if you're going to have to contend with him, and how does his being there or not influence how you prepare for this game? We prepared to have him in we we also talked about him not being in what they do just like we do every game so you never know for sure what a team's going to do but based on past evidence uh, yeah that's a good indicator of the future and and, and what they're going to do but like always we prepare guys for multiple scenarios um, if he's in the game you know four two three one mostly plays underneath Perez uh, if he's not in the game then they played Akindeli with Perez at times even at times Castillo uh, underneath in that spot, so those are a couple scenarios. Holland said most likely in if, if Diaz isn't. Um, if Diaz is in, they have a bit more possession and, and they have a you know a playmaker, a guy that can play final ball, similar to Pedro Morales from from Vancouver.